Hello and welcome to Just One More Watch. I've got another Scottish t-shirt on. That must mean it's time for another value roundup. Now I looked at $100 watches a couple of weeks ago, so the logical thing to do would have been to go on to $200 watches. But no, I'm Scottish, so we're going to $50 watches. Now at this price point, you really want to keep it sensible. Don't take too many risks with your money if this is your one or only watch. If, however, you do want me to do an alternative $50 roundup full of Vostoks and Seagulls, leave me a comment. I'd be only too happy to oblige. But today, going to keep it quite mainstream with some Seikos, some Casios and a Wenger. So let's get into today's $50 roundup. So these are in no particular order, but at number five, this one would be my choice. If I only had to buy one of these, it would be this one. This is the Wenger Swiss Field Classic. So the Wenger bus is coming in at number five. Swiss made on the dial, Swiss made on your wrist for $49.99. This would definitely be my choice. Now it says here 42 millimeters, so we've got a, a full size watch, perfect for the slightly larger gentleman. I looked at the Wenger website, they say it's a 41, but either way it's a decent sized timepiece. One centimeter thick though, because of that Swiss quartz movement. Now it just says Swiss Quartz there, I'm guessing Ronda 515 given that it's a, a three hand plus date complication so you have the added convenience of a date, fantastic if this is going to be your one and only watch for everyday wear, mineral crystal and loom on the hands, the numbers and the markers, that is excellent as to the all round practicality of the watch, I think this is a really really practical timepiece, 100 meter water resistance, I'm guessing the crown is not screwed down but 100 meters is really at the forget about it level and and a rubber strap looks like it's got a nice Venga logo there. I'm a big fan of rubber straps, uh, not particularly dressy obviously, but a really good comfortable strap for all day everyday use. Um, they don't tend to wear as well as a leather strap and certainly not as a bracelet, but they're dirt cheap to replace when the time comes as well. And if that wasn't enough, you get a nice little presentation box for your $50. A bargain this one, a bargain. Okay, at number four, we've got a Timex, but this one comes with a bit of a warning. This is the Timex Rugged Field Chronograph. Okay, so the Timex Men's Expedition Field Chronograph watch. A lot of watch for $46, that's for sure. There are also a number of other Timexes in and around this price point, but it does come with a warning. I bought a slightly more plasticky Timex Expedition last year. A great price on it. Took the pin out of the crown and put it in a sock drawer and sold it the next week. It was incredibly noisy. So maybe try and get a look at one of these in the flesh before you take the plunge. But a lot going on on this dial. Calls itself a field watch, but I think there are a number of uh, styling cues from early fliegers here, the skeleton hands, that nice little arrowhead there, plenty going on. Got a date complication at the four o'clock, another nice little visual cue there. 100 meter water resistance, though I'm not sure how that uh, rather nicely stitched brown leather strap is gonna go underwater. And Indiglo, if you haven't used one of these Timexes, that's a great uh, electroluminescent, lights up the whole dial at the touch of a button, a real boon. Uh, in terms of overall practicality, means they don't have to put loom on the hands or indices as well. Good looking watch this one, I think, 43 millimeters diameter, 12 millimeters thick, uh, full size timepiece. There you go, have a look at the, the whole thing there. Just a plain push in case back, uh, but it shouldn't be a problem going to that 100 meters water resistance, nice sign tang there as well. Just be warned that it may be a slightly noisy, um, watch in operation. And at number three, it's the ubiquitous Seiko. This time it's the Seiko SNK, the little brother of the Seiko we looked at last week in the $100 roundup. And there it is, the venerable Seiko SNK. Classic little watch, $55 for an automatic Seiko 5, a hell of a deal. 21 joule movement this one, you even got a display case back so you can look at your automatic movement. It's the 7S26 movement, so no hacking, no hand winding, you're doing the Seiko shuffle to get this one going, 40 hour power reserve. And because it is an entry level movement, they can be a little bit hit or miss, you're not going to get the accuracy that you'll get with the quartz timepieces we look at elsewhere on today's list. but you get that, the romance of an automatic movement. You also get Seiko's Lumibrite on the hands and indices. You get a day and a date complication here. And you get Seiko's proprietary Hard Likes Crystal. Very much the little brother of the SNZG that we looked at in the list at $100. 
37mm, so it is physically the little brother as well. The other ones are 40, 42, and water resistance of only 30 meters. Those are the only real downsides. Uh, this nylon strap, mm, not sure how comfortable that's going to be, but these are little 18mm lug widths, so you can swap that out for a NATO or something else very cheaply and easily. I'd be popping this one on a blue rubber strap and beating the hell out of it at the weekends. I think it's a fantastic little watch for a mere $55. And at number two, high time we had a Casio on this list, and here it is, the classic G-Shock, the 5600. So the classic Casio G-Shock 5600, very much the Kellogg's cornflakes of the G-Shock range. Now by that I mean the original and the best. This one looks almost identical to the original G-Shock design, some 30 years old. Now, I had one of these for about 10 years, loved it, got a good price on it myself at the time. It eventually died, it, it kept eating batteries, so I put it in the bin. It was a very sad day to lose this one though, a great timepiece. There may well be another one in my future. Robust, reliable, very tough on the wrist, a lot of wrist presence, perhaps a little too much wrist presence for some. These integrated resin bracelets are a bit of a problem or a common bugbear with these G-Shocks. If you want to swap that out for a NATO, you have to buy adapters, which does rather add to the cost. But fantastic, very simple to use these little uh, Casio movements. Electroluminescent, so you get a nice glow on the dial at night time. Recessed poppers, so you're not going to be pressing buttons in error, that's for sure. I used to run marathons with this one on my wrist. There's not a lot of weight to it. And an added bonus... Uh, the big numerals there where it normally displays the time. If you're running a stopwatch, you can have your stopwatch there and the, the time of day displayed in that little box in the top right corner so you can always uh, work out when you're going to go home for your lunch. Great watch, this one. 200 meters water resistant. Uh, alarms, timers, stopwatches, everything you'd really need from a watch at a great price. And at number one, it's another Casio, arguably the best dive watch under 50 bucks, the Casio Duro. Another $50 classic from Casio, the Casio Duro Dive Watch. Now this one's a little bit bigger, it's 44 millimeters in diameter, so a fairly solid looking watch on the wrist. Everything you could want from a dive watch and plenty more besides at this price point. So we've got a, a resin strap, it'll be the same hard wearing resin that you get on a lot of these Casios, including the G-Shocks, 200 meter water resistance, a unidirectional rotating bezel if you are actually gonna take the watch diving, screw down crown, which is an essential, gives it that 200 meter water uh, resistance rating there. Not ISO certified, but it hardly matters at this price point. You've got a, a date complication there at the three o'clock Japan movement. As it says, a mineral crystal glass. Again, you're not really gonna get sapphire on a watch under 50 bucks, but a really good looking timepiece. Very simple, uh, but lovely black and silver aesthetic there. And you can't go wrong for under $50 with this one. So there you have it. You don't have to spend a fortune to get a really nice watch on your wrist. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.